So ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all. <clears throat> yes, uh, it's very challenging uh, to fly in a draft over the sea because uh, the biggest foe is the corrosion. You always fly over the corrosion environment. Uh, the, as far as the maintenance part is concerned, the, if you compare it from the Air Force, like there are three common platforms which we, along with the Army as, as well as the Air Force, uh, are, are, are common. Number one is the Tornier. We, Navy, as well as the uh, Air Force have got similar platform. Chetak and then Mark III, LH Mark III and Mark I. Uh, generally, those aircraft which are actually flying over the sea, whenever it goes to the major inspection, it has got a peculiar problems of the corrosion. The intensity of the you know, maintenance required is huge and it is more on structural repairs. Besides these points, like in case if I talk about the avionics also, there is uh, you know, a lot of, because of the uh, seawater vapors, it gets insulated and you need to carry out some kind of a CDC etc where you have to, you know, do this electrical bonding again. Now, uh, let me go to the uh, different, I mean, you know, a different perspective because we are here in uh, IIT. I want to take this opportunity to, uh, you know, put my point together, whatever I have experienced. So, prior to this, can I request you to the raise hands, how many IIT students are here? Thank you. And how many PhD scholars are there from IIT? Any faculty member from IIT? So this is how you know what is happening in our case. Uh, I just want to make it a very point, a very specific point here. We actually work in a compartmentalization. It's my baby, so I have to look after only mine. If as a country, if we try to bring out all resources together, solutions are going to take place. There is no doubt about it. If you got a fire circle, I mean, you know, fire triangle, you got a heat, you got a fuel, and the oxygen. These three, in case it will form together, then only fire is going to take place. Now from the aviation industry, industry point of view, you got a designer, Let's talk about it. I am talking about a triangle. You got a designer, you got a manufacturer, and you got an operator. Where do we fit in is only on the operator as well as the maintainer. The maintenance is also a very limited part because major maintenance goes to the HL. What we have got with us is the tremendous amount of the data, data what we have obtained while exploiting this particular aircraft. Now this data, if, if it goes to the manufacturer or the designer, that these are the problematic areas which are required to be resolved. And designer as well as manufacturer both work together. I am sure there will be solution. I think it is appreciated to the, uh, you know, the Avicol, the guy who have organized this particular thing in IIT in Delhi. Uh, the main point was just to pass it down to the industry academia that what all, you know, where you can get involved. However, you know, whatever raised hands I could see, especially from the students, I have been at your shoes, some, you know, years back, three days, three, three and a half decades back. My point to you is this, that generally, whenever you go for any dissertation or for your, your deciding a particular subject, just take a particular subject which is relevant to us. I will give you a classical example. I had a professor in Natural Sciences, Bangalore Professor Mukunda. I, I don't know, I am sure aerospace industry knows him because he was a big shot. Professor Mukunda, one of my colleagues has gone to him and he's requested that I want to do some kind of a project, project under you. So professor has said, just go to HL and pick up any six problems and we will discuss it, how can we resolve. Two, there was another gentleman called Professor Munjal, he was the head of the department of mechanical engineering. This Dhruv Mark 1 was out 
and it has got lot of noise and vibrations issues. As a forge, you give him anything, you will fly because you have a, you know, task to achieve. Noise, vibrations, all are subject to do. He has to do the task. But fortunately or unfortunately, HL was trying to go for a certification with, you know, DGCA under ambulance rule, and ultimately. HCL could not arrest vibrations and as you know vibrations and noise both are internal engine. Ultimately they approached to the Professor Munjal and requested him that can you please go through it, how can we resolve these vibrations so that things can be resolved. So my dear, you know ladies and gentlemen the point here I am trying to make it just to utilize this particular forum here that there should be a collaboration and accountability. If you don't have accountability and the collaboration together I don't think so we are going to make any progress. We have been speaking in many forums, at many places all together, but nothing is happening. If you look at the, I'll, I'll again, because I am sitting in the Indian Institute of Technology, one of the you know, best premier institute of the technology, I will be zapped to know that we know that we have got an aircraft called ALH Mark III. We claim it to be the indigenized, but Will you surprise to know that the, all the raw material which comes, and I am talking about 98% of the raw material which comes to HL for the manufacturing is all, all important. We, we have got a fantastic technology for, for the composites, but we don't have fibers with us. We don't have any metallurgy. If a particular rod which is being utilized only for the controlling of the you know, basic controls, the, the raw materials comes from foreign. And what we are doing is the manufacturing. So the point why I am trying to make it here is that this triangle what I have just communicated to you. That the designer, the manufacturer and the, the user, these three things have to be together so that there should be a fire, there should be a spark so that we are independent and move together. And if we don't have this fire, if we don't have these triangles, if these, these sides of the triangles are working separately in their own cave and in their own domains, nothing is going to happen. Nothing is going to happen. I am sorry, I, mean, I have to be very truthful and I am talking about it in a fashion altogether. The engines, last time I have spoken to you, we have got a you know, Garrett engines. 350 engines we have got in our country. I am not talking about the Coast Guards. HL TAD, HL Engine Division Bangalore is the only agency which is repairing these Garrett engines. The infrastructure is so limited that the turnaround time is beyond imagination. And it has been said in many forums altogether that despite of the fact that there are so many MROs, nobody has taken a lead. Come to us. Can we, can we get it to avoid? Can we get it repaired? Can we do something on this or not? Indigenization is taking place at a greater pace, but unfortunately it is only on tits and bits. And this tits and bits is not going to solve your problems. I have got a few examples just to encourage the audience here. And the, here is like for example, HCL, yes, they have got a typical DPSU, which is there in our DNA. I don't want to discuss about it. And the effect is this, that the turnaround time of the aircraft or the engines is beyond imagination. We want the aircraft to be more in air than on the ground. But because of the expertise, because of the sparse management, that even if you carry out any kind of a, you know, repairs, ultimately you are dependent on the OEM to get the space. What AVM Sanjeev was just talking about it, that we, until SD, you don't have any space available with you. And until you don't have a space, you can't carry out your entire MRO, you, you can't, you know, repair your things all together. HCL is doing it, HCL example, I can give you, quote you some examples. Dornier, which is our workhorse, they have done 206 items which has been indigenized, they have identified, out of which 64 has already been indigenized, but that's what, you know, what, washer, bolts? Yeah, I think, I think you'll, you'll make a video. So, Make I need to, we need to work together to get the things going so that our, you know, sitting together at least.